justice, I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Also speak with you. The Psalms today is a verse from Psalm 16 gives us a glimpse of our ultimate destiny as beings, which is to behold the face of God, to be filled with the vision of his glory. So here on earth, in particular, in the Eucharist, we glimpse the glory of God, which is our destiny. And with that thought in our minds, we call to mind our sins. Are you forgiven us? And we confess our sins in penitence and faith. Mighty God, our God and our God, we have sinned against you and against thy in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness. And keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God. Who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who, for the faith they profess, are accounted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it up. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The path of the upright man is straight. You smooth the way of the upright. Follow the path of your judgments. Ye hope to be uniform. Your memory, your memory, are all my soul's desires. At night, my soul longs for you, and my spirit in me seeks for you. When your judgments appear on earth, the inhabitants of the world learn the meaning of integrity. Lord, you are giving us peace, since you treat us as our deeds deserve. Distress we search for you, the misery of oppression what your function for us. As a woman with a child near her side, lying in sand, cries out in her face. So we are Lord in your presence. We have conceived. We rise as death. We are giving birth. We have not given the spirit of salvation to the earth, nor inhabitants of the world of God. Your dead will come to life. Their corpses will rise, awake, exalt, or you who lie in the dust. For you are due with a radiant view, and the land of ghosts will give birth. The word of the Lord. Amen. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, my soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on this word. The Lord be with you. I read you from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Jesus exclaimed, Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am a gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my name is Jesus, and my word is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Pray to you. And then the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A human longing for God is adequately <coughs> expressed in today's person from the prophet Isaiah. At night, my soul longs for you, and my spirit in me seeks for you, distressed. We search for you, Lord. It is often in times of distress that the deep longing in our hearts for God comes to the surface of our lives. You know that. I know that. In the Gospel, Jesus responds to our longing for God, calling out to the distress, to those who labor overburdened, as we often are, to come into him, to learn from him. It's a very personal invitation offered to each one of us individually. Come to me, come to me. Jesus speaks here as Emmanuel, God with us, he alone can begin to satisfy our deep, deep longing for God. The one who is gentle and humble in heart is not in the business of burdening an already burdened people. Call to mind Jesus' criticism of the religious authorities at the time, who he thought were just heaping burden after burden after burden on people's shoulders. Those who respond to this invitation come to me. 
will be seated the rest for which our restless hearts are longing. I think this church is filled with that series of rest, that series of the presence of Christ. St. Augustine said that our hearts will be restless until they rest in God. We will not listen and we enter upon this rest to the full in the kingdom of heaven. However, here and now, in and through the Lord's personal relationship with each of us as members of the community of disciples, we will be able to taste something of this rest. If we place ourselves within its confines. Coming to Mass in the week is one of the ways we can enter to the Lord's rest and enter into the fullness of life which can satisfy our longing for God. Then the Father and the Son and all the Holy Spirit. Amen. So in the peace of let us pray for us for the one holy Catholic and apostolic Church of God spread throughout the world and for all who are joined with us at this moment in the worship of God, in prayer and sacramental life. That each of them and us may know the peace which Christ brings that rests. Let us pray for grace that we may offer to God all that burdens us. Let us pray for this diocese, for Michael, its bishop, and for Paul, our bishop. Give thanks to God for the pilgrimage to Glastonbury last Saturday and all the good it has brought. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. And let us pray for a world that desperately needs peace and rest. Pray for all those whose lives are overburdened because of war and conflict and oppression, that they may be set free. Pray too for the leaders of the European nations as they gather together today. Pray for all who represent us in government, national and local, for the building up of the common good, for peace, stability. Security will be us. Lord, thank you for this time and on this day when the market is seen that we pray for all who serve us in the food retail industry. And we pray especially for those who are economically challenged in our communities. For those who resort to the feeding food bank. For those who rely on the generosity of others to make ends meet, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. For all who have asked us to remember them by name and to hold them in the presence of God, Kathleen, Stephen, Sue, Meg, Chris, and Margaret, Jude, Paul, Roy, David, Jane, Julia, Bella, Derek, Alfred, Ron, Ron, Grace, Richard, Jackie, Gareth, Derek, Liz. 
they that they may know the presence of Christ with them, his peace, his love. Lord, be us. Lord, be us. And remember those who have died recently. Our countries. Brother Hobbes. Mary Sheehy. Sue Hughes. Sue Hughes. And in his mind, Sherry Chief. Let's sit down, brought them together for the Lord. Let my Lord shall shine. Just remember those for whom we pray and ourselves to the gracious intercession of men and the mother. As we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless God, thou art with thee. Bless the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for us, and we will be pleased to be my priest unto you. But not on our sins, but on the faith of God. And gracious to grant us the peace and unity of walking the way we did forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. I will say, accept each other. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the memory of you, through to the earth and what of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, when we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the life we offer you, fruit of the divine and wealth of human things. It will become our spiritual gift. Blessed be God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the life we offer you, fruit of the divine and wealth of human things. It will become our spiritual gift. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray again, friends, that our sacrifices may be acceptable to God who is your Father. May Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of the Lord. Look upon the offerings of the church of the Lord, and she makes her prayer to you, and grant that, when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We will be with you, and also with you.
Lift up your heart and let them Let them give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to the right hand of us, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father, most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will, gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, to the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim Holy, Holy, Holy. God of power and kindness, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all kindness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body. Which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this. All of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Faith is the mystery of faith. Christ is the mystery of faith. Christ is the mystery of faith. Christ is the mystery of faith. And so far the coming to mind of the death of the cross is that of sacrifice. May once for the sins of the whole world rejoice in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. And looking for his coming of glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary and the Virgin Mother of God, the strong evangelists, the beloved disciples, Patrons, with the apostles, the masters, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. The same is the man who is called by the divine teaching who dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, 
its saving effects upon us will grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Lord also say, may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Once again, go forth and announce the gospel. Thank you, Jesus.